Now, I think what this is telling me is that it, 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 it seems like it's the Air Force because we know that in 2007, again, it was the Cheney's uh, alternate chain of command moved these um, uh, nuclear-tipped cruise missiles out of Minot Air Force Base to Barksdale Air Force Base. They said it was a big mistake. But, again, here we have the Air Force. The Air Force seems to come up time and time again, and uh, we have uh, people in the Air Force, I think, who really represent uh, the alternate chain of command, as we saw it under the Bush administration. And, of course, 9-11 was an aerial attack. So which service would they have, to, uh, have had to co-opt? It would have been the U.S. Air Force. And who are experts in drone attacks and remote control? Uh, look, you don't like to speculate, but from your years of deep research and working at the NSA and, 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 and literally living a cloak-and-dagger lifestyle in D.C., as best you can tell, I mean, clearly it's Cheney running the attack, but, but uh, how did this work that day? Well, I, apparently what happened was uh, uh, we, we know that there was this, a huge, uh, this huge amount of confusion about some drills that were being run. NORAD was running drills. There were other drills being run, and there was a lot of confusion among the, uh, the people at the uh, radar scopes at the computer terminals. And they said uh, they were watching television. They said, wait a minute, is this, is this drill or is this real time? And I think the purpose of this alternate command and control system was to confuse the situation. Uh, uh, it, 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 you know, when you had people that didn't know whether what they were watching on TV was part of a drill or not, I think it, it was very successful. So the knowledge of what was really happening only had to be amongst the very few people because even, even the people who might have been on the PDAS terminals uh, getting this information wouldn't have had the big picture. Only certain, a certain number of people would have had the big picture and would have known what was going on that morning. And, of course, there was a separate CIA drill of the Pentagon being attacked, being run separately. That way, if they got caught by other branches of the government or other compartments, they'd say, oh, it's just a drill. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so you had that built-in factor of confusion. You had a certain number of people, a very limited number of people, who knew exactly what was going on. And, therefore, that's how this multi-trillion dollar uh, command control communications and intelligence system that we had to, you know, ostensibly uh, fight the Soviet Union uh, during that uh, Cold War year, it collapsed in a matter of hours on the morning of 9-11. And we know within 10 minutes, as the Associated Press reported, Rumsfeld began broadcasting across the Pentagon, Iraq did this, because he knew it was important to get that first story out, Iraq, because they were already gearing up to go into Iraq.